Of course, I'm joined by our MLA, uh, South Peace MLA, Mike Bernier. Um, how did you think this event went tonight? Oh, well, I think it was a great event. It's uh, probably one of many that should probably take place. Uh, when you look at the, the discussion that happened tonight, when you look at the, the ideas, the questions, and the comments that people had, it, uh, I think we could have gone on for another 10 hours easily tonight. I haven't seen um, a step being taken, for example, that if an apartment building has 50 apartments in it, a percentage of those are, are rent uh, controlled. Okay. So, so the topic would be housing affordability? General disruption. Yeah. General disruption to your quality of life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think the, uh, the, the transports that are on the highway coming into the city, we don't know if they're full or empty, and they're, they're hauling all of this liquid through our towns, and I think that that should be looked at. Like, we have our dangerous goods route, but that creek that flows along the dangerous goods route flows into Dawson Creek right. and so if something happened like a pizza truck went off last year in the winter because the road flooded. Um, I am concerned about the sexual health and well-being of the the young men and women who are going to be coming into the town to work here. Uh, all of the concerns that people are bringing forward are legitimate of what's happening now and when you look at uh, uh, the impacts that we have in the region, uh, obviously different impacts and different issues for different people and that's what we heard tonight and it's always trying to look at how do we make decisions and how do we uh, deal with some of those uh, strains that are happening. Uh, one of my biggest concerns and I, I go back to even when I was mayor and one of the challenges in the area, yes we're seeing a boom, yes we're seeing an influx of people coming to the area, higher paying jobs, one of the things local governments, provincial governments, I think we need to really be cognizant of is making sure that we don't have that gap of the haves and the have-nots growing. We have to really work on that because when you hear about affordable housing, sure there's a lot of people that are able to afford housing, we're leaving people behind and we have to address that.